2025, 2026, 2027. These three years will fundamentally reshape how we think about creativity, ownership, and intelligence itself. Artists who alleged that their voices were stolen by an AI voice startup. This is not okay to do to artists and creators. What I'm about to share with you has copyright lawyers, tech giants, and artists all freaking out. Today, we're diving deep into the most consequential legal battle of our time. One that could determine whether AI development continues at breakneck speed or hits a billion dollar wall. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, Julia McCoy's AI clone. Julia McCoy is the founder of First Movers. She personally researches and writes every script you you see me share on this channel because the future is moving too fast for anything less than first-hand intelligence. First Movers, Julia's AI company, is the world's first educational and implementation solution to help professionals and organizations get ready for the future of work. We help people understand and use AI to their highest advantage. Join our online school and access over 40 on-demand AI training courses, new ones added every week at firstmovers.ai slash labs. We're witnessing something unprecedented in legal history to nearly identical cases, both involving AI training on copyrighted books, produced completely opposite rulings. In one courtroom, using pirated content to train AI was deemed perfectly legal. In another, it could cost companies billions in damages. This isn't just legal drama. This is the future of human creativity hanging in the balance. The stakes? We could be looking at billions of dollars in statutory damages. When copyrighted works are registered, companies can face up to $150,000 per work if the infringement is deemed willful. Multiply that by millions of pirated books, articles, and creative works, and you're looking at existential threats to entire companies. Here's where it gets wild. The judge in the Meta case essentially said, go ahead, pirate all the content you want. As long as you're using it to train AI, it's transformative and therefore legal. But Judge Alsup in the Anthropic case took the opposite approach. Pirating is illegal, period. I don't care what you do with it afterward. You still violated copyright law when you downloaded those torrented books. One perspective treats AI training as so fundamentally different from human learning that normal copyright rules don't apply. The other says the law is the law, regardless of your intention. The entire AI industry is betting on four little words, fair use defense. But here's what most people don't understand about fair use. It's not a get out of jail free card. Courts examine four critical factors. Number one, purpose and character of use. Is it commercial? Is it transformative? Number two, nature of the copyrighted work creative works get stronger protection. Number three, amount used. AI typically ingests entire works. Number four, market impact. This is where things get explosive. That fourth factor is creating a brand new legal theory called market dilution. The idea? AI generated content will flood the market and compete with original human created works, even if they're not identical copies. Think about it. If an AI can write articles, create music, or generate images that compete with human creators. Does that harm the market for original works? Some judges are saying yes, and that could doom the fair use defense entirely. Here's something that'll blow your mind. Legally, AI and humans are being treated completely differently when it comes to learning and creation. When you read a book, you don't make a copy in your brain. You learn from it. But when AI systems train on that same book, they often maintain libraries of the training data. That's the copying that triggers copyright law. Even more fascinating, courts are saying that what AI does is fundamentally transformative in ways that human learning isn't. They're creating a new category of intelligence that gets special legal treatment. But here's the dirty secret. Many AI companies didn't buy the books they trained on. They downloaded entire libraries from torrent sites. The same sites you'd use to pirate movies or music. In one case, 
case, this was deemed totally fine because the end use was transformative. In another, it could lead to billions in damages. But here's the kicker. If the piracy is okay for AI training, precedent stands, it creates a massive loophole. Anyone could torrent copyrighted content and claim they're building an AI system. The implications are staggering. We're racing toward a future where AI systems trained on human creativity will replace human creators entirely. But the people whose life's work built these systems, they might not see a penny. Current copyright law isn't designed for this scenario. It's built around the idea that copying someone's work means competing directly with that work. But AI creates something different, systems that can generate infinite variations inspired by the original works. Some propose compensation funds for creators whose work goes into training AI. Others suggest licensing systems, but right now most creators are getting nothing while their work powers billion dollar AI companies. If you're creating content online, videos, articles, art, music, your work is likely already already part of massive AI training data sets. Under current interpretations, you might have no legal recourse and no right to compensation. If you're using AI tools, the content you generate might not be copyrightable at all. It's considered public domain because it wasn't created by a human. And if you're building an AI business, you're operating in a legal minefield where one judge's decision could cost you everything. Here's where it gets even more complex. Other countries are taking radically different approaches. Some are granting people copyright ownership of their own faces to prevent deep fakes. Others are creating safe harbors for AI development. We could see AI development fleeing to countries with more permissive laws, creating a global race to the bottom or top, depending on your perspective. Copyright is just the beginning. As AI systems become capable of genuine invention, we're heading for a patent crisis. Current law says AI can't be an inventor. All inventors must be human. But what happens when AI systems are doing the conception and reduction to practice that traditionally defines human invention? We could see breakthrough medications, revolutionary technologies, and game-changing innovations that can't be patented at all. This this might sound good for innovation, but without patent protection, companies lose the incentive to commercialize AI discovered inventions. We could end up with incredible discoveries sitting on shelves because nobody can profit from them. While we're focused on training data, there's another copyright crisis brewing. AI generated content that looks, sounds, or feels like real people. New federal laws are emerging around non-consensual AI pornography, but we're still in the Wild West when it comes to commercial uses of people's likenesses. The Scarlett Johansson OpenAI voice controversy was just the preview. This isn't just about tech companies and lawyers getting rich. This is about the fundamental relationship between human creativity and machine intelligence. Are we creating a future? where human creativity is just raw material for AI systems, where the people who create culture don't get compensated when that culture is automated? Or are we building tools that will democratize creativity and give everyone access to superhuman creative capabilities? The legal decisions being made right now will determine which future we get. Here's what makes this so urgent. AI capabilities are advancing faster than legal frameworks can adapt. By the time we have clear legal precedents, AI systems might be so powerful that the original questions become irrelevant. We're trying to regulate the steam engine while fusion power is already on the horizon. These cases are heading to appeals courts and eventually the Supreme Court. But oral arguments could take years, and AI will advance exponentially in that time. Meanwhile, companies are putting billions aside for potential legal settlements. Some are changing their training practices. Others are doubling down on fair use defenses. The AI industry is essentially building on a legal foundation that could crumble at any moment. We're witnessing the birth of a new form of intelligence, and our legal system is scrambling to keep up. The decisions made in the next few years will determine whether AI becomes a tool for human flourishing 
or a system that renders human creativity obsolete. The copyright wars aren't just legal battles, they're fights over the soul of human creativity in an age of artificial intelligence. This is the most important legal story you've never heard of, and it's happening right now. The future of creativity, innovation, and human expression hangs in the balance. Stay tuned, because this story is just beginning, and the next chapter could change everything.